It is time to brush up on your painting skills. If you've never painted a wall or two in this week's home zone, we have tips to make it go much easier. And this time the DIY person is not me, but another redhead. Here are the do's and don'ts and how to paint a wall in one minute. What are the keys to painting a wall? Sierra Hignite of Fox 59 fame and her hubby Bobby painted this lovely wall just a couple of weeks ago. Step one is you pick the hottest day of the year to come and work in your garage. Check. Before tackling the wall, she laid a cloth down in the garage and spray painted the frames that would hang on the wall. Love the smell of aerosol in the morning. She wisely painted light coats to prevent drips. Sierra got that done in no time. Fast motion really helps. And you can paint your footwear at the same time. Now it was time to prepare the wall by taking off the cover plates for the outlets and the switches. It's just easier than taping them off or painting around them. Then tape off the baseboards and even the ceilings if you prefer. Now, cutting in the wall. It's a fancy term for using a brush to carefully paint the edges first so you don't have to get too close to the roller wherever you don't want the paint, like the ceiling. The key to this is to put the paint on the wall about an inch away from the ceiling or the baseboard, then spread it closer and feather it out so there's not a thick band of paint on the wall. Starting away from the tape prevents too much paint from getting under the tape. Instead, she went right for that crease and when they eventually peeled it off, some got on the ceiling, but not bad. After all, it's a learning process. All right, the cutting in is done, unfortunately. That's just paint and not an alcoholic beverage, but your turn. Look at that paint color. It is time to roll. Somebody's been working out. Here's another painting tip. Paint toward that metal cage that holds the roller because that's the side that takes the most pressure and will deposit the most paint. So. Be like Bobby and go the same way to smooth out the lines left behind. Another option, instead of doing a row at a time, consider putting the paint up on the wall in a W pattern, then spreading it out to avoid vertical lines. You'll see more of that in a minute. We've learned a couple things. One, that our roller is conveniently the size that's too short for our hallway and the extender is too long for our hallway. So we've resorted to a stool and a six foot man. Thank you for your services. No Another huge time saver is to buy an 18 inch roller versus the standard 9 inch. Most homeowners don't even know about it. Others were told. I did not take Scott Jones, the home zone expert's advice and get the bigger roller today at the paint store. And we are really regretting that decision. So. I wish you would have bought it. You'll also have to buy the two-sided cage that holds it and the wide paint bucket made for it. It is more expensive, but watch how fast you can go. You dunk the roller into the paint, which puts a lot on the wall all at once, then spread it out. This is the method I've used, but never videotaped. This guy did. He was done in seconds, literally. Your time will vary. Plus, it makes coverage much more even. Back to Sierra and Bobby. Here's the wall before, and now the gallery wall after. It is clean, crisp, and it pops. Nice job, team. Go, team. Way to go. There's an even more in-depth article on fox59.com of the do's and don'ts of painting, plus the links to the products that help. You can click on Morning News and look for the Home Zone tab. If you've done something that we can air, contact me at sjones at fox59.com. And now the painter herself, Sierra Ignite. <laughs> I don't know that I can take that title. It's kind of pretty sad how not great I am at painting because my dad is a painter. Ooh. Not like Picasso, but like how I should have just asked him to come paint my wall. Mm. <laughs> so we're that, learning. I was um, wondering if he asked any tips. Like, hey, what do I need to do with the tape? Because that's what always makes me Right, and he's, he's told me multiple times. Uh -huh. So did I. Mm -hmm. Scott did too, and I was like, yeah, it's fine. And I think that it's, it is fine until I pull it off and I see it's bled through. And, right. I said and start a little so way from the you learn, Sierra. That's right. I'll paint enough walls that one day I'll right. take Scott's advice. And then you'll get that big roller because that thing is yeah. such mm -hmm. a time Yeah, saver. it really would have been. That is what took a long time, and there was so much overlap. Mm -hmm. And then also because the awkward length of the hallway, having right. to walk up the ladder and walk down the ladder. Right. It made it a little tough. That your husband did. That my husband did, but I had to cut in twice, which is arguably worse. There you go. I was yeah. wondering kind of why. Yeah, right yeah it was, I had to cut in twice because the paint, it was white behind it. They asked me at the paint store if I wanted primer. 
I thought I was cool and said no. I did have to do two coats for it to cover yeah, okay. because I did uh, not use primer. But like it said, turned out really it well. Looks it really looks good. really great, and I mm -hmm. with instead of doing the white frames with the tan frames, it, okay. it turned out nice. Yeah. I'm she happy had a plan. with it. She had a plan. Great job. Well yes. done. I did hear one time though, if you put tape up, you can actually wet the tape a little bit, and that makes it actually adhere a little bit better. Yeah, and yeah. you can oh, score oh, it with oh, a oh, knife. I'll have to try that. Take like a damp washcloth with the tape, and that sticks it in there a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, but you yeah. gave me a lot of tip. advice after I know. the fact. I you know what? That. You all should come yeah. meet my next. Time. That sounds great. I actually We're offered. Yeah. Me, I'm done you me. did. I offered. Scott did offer. I will say. All right.